there's so much happening in Saudi Arabia. Bans are being lifted, women are getting to do things they couldn't for a long time, and the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is making Saudi Arabia great again. Well, for Saudis. Saudization is part of the kingdom's plan to become more Saudi. This means increasing the employment of Saudi nationals in the private sector by replacing foreign workers with Saudi men and women. There are currently over 11 million expats employed in Saudi Arabia's private sector, which relies heavily on foreign labour because many Saudis are reluctant to work in the service industry. Many foreign workers will lose their jobs from September 2018 onwards, as 12 sectors will become Saudi only. But Saudization didn't just pop out of nowhere. This plan's been in the making for decades, ever since the kingdom became oil rich and began relying heavily on Pakistanis, Indians, Filipinos and other Arabs to fill the workforce. And Saudi Arabia has often been criticised for mistreatment of foreign workers. The most recent initiative of Saudization was launched in 2011 by the Ministry of Labour and as a result, almost 90,000 Indian workers were forced to leave the kingdom. The majority of Saudi's current population population is below the age of 35, with an unemployment rate of 12%. The Saudization plan promises to drop that to 7% by replacing foreigners with Saudi locals. We asked Sam, a foreign worker in the kingdom's private sector, for his thoughts on Saudization. For many, less foreign workers means more money will stay inside the kingdom instead of being transferred overseas. But there's another reason why Saudis are so excited about the strategy. Companies are obliged to make sure that the Saudis they employ are happy with their jobs by providing them with appraisals, benefits, rewards and great salaries. The recent steps towards Saudization coincide with other reforms aiming to boost the economy and quality of life in the kingdom. Reducing the number of unemployed Saudis across the country is a crucial part of Crown Prince Salman's reforms. But will Saudization really help make Saudi Arabia great again?